YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, wherever this video may be. This is my channel's first video. Wow, this is so crazy. This is my first YouTube video. Like, I've always used YouTube ever since I was, you know, five or six. But I never uploaded or, you know, never recorded myself like I'm doing right now. Well, anyways, right now I'm driving down the interstate. And by now, you probably read the title and everything. But yes, this is beginning of that journey of finding the evidence for something so unbelievable. And that's why I'm actually making a YouTube video. This is my first time making a big YouTube channel where, you know, I actually show my face and actually have my voice on the screen. And for this YouTube channel, it's going to be more like a, a documentary series, actually. So instead of like, you know, the heavy editing, you know, the, the photo shots, the loud sounds and music adding, it's going to be really the opposite of that. It's going to be authentic, realistic, um, real life experiences. You know, I'm recording off my, my Galaxy S22 Plus, so... That's a start, like, this is not anything professional, it's not a- There's a speed center. trap ahead. Okay, I gotta watch out for that speed trap too. Safety is the number one most important thing why I do this. While I'm doing this, I have to be safety 100% of the time, because who knows what's out there? Who knows that there's gonna be a speed trap five miles ahead, Besides Google, I'm not Google, so how would I know it's a speed trap? That's besides the point. Right now, I'm really, you know, testing the waters and see how I feel on camera talking about what I'm here to talk about. Yes. The notorious, infamous, and surprisingly little known, the Michigan Dogman. Now, personally, I've grown up in Michigan nearly in my entire life. I've only spent one year out in California, but besides that, I've lived in Michigan my entire life. And I've never heard of the Michigan Dogman until maybe three years ago on YouTube. It's like, how is this mysterious creature existing in a state where I've grown up in my whole life? And it took me, you know, until I was what, 18 years old to even hear about it. Like, that is extraordinary to me. Like, it's so unbelievable that this whole paranormal world filled with aliens, Loch Ness Monsters, you know, everything in between, science fiction, teleporters, portals, like, all that, that entire genre is so understudied or, you know, looked over because people don't think it's real. People don't think it's actually happening in real time. People don't think it actually happened. Whenever anybody brings up a paranormal encounter, it's like they're ignored or they're seen as crazy or they're just, you know, brushed off because how could such a thing happen? But personally, I've never been a person that has an encounter paranormal stuff like that. I I cannot say that I've had paranormal activity relating to ghosts or hauntings like that happen to me. I just can't say that as a person, honestly. Like to be truthful, I cannot say that. And this is why it's so interesting to me because so many people have reported seeing strange objects, strange creatures things happen to them when they're sleeping or even yet when they're full awake often no drugs and they're completely sober and they see these strange things it's like where are these things coming from their imagination are they making it up can we really believe these people i don't know and this is why i'm here 
to study and look for evidence and look for eyewitness testimony so I can make a consistent consensus on my own. And um, I'm sorry, but um, I can't uh, pronounce every word 100% correctly all the time. Um, I, I definitely need to work on that in this video so you, all, you guys can all clearly hear me. And you know, I've been working on that my whole life, but that's besides the fact that there's so much out there that we don't know as humans. Like, we have an entire universe that's 99.99% undiscovered because we're only living on one planet, probably only living in one city or one town most of our lives. So how would we know what's out there? How, how would we know that there's aliens living on the dark side of the moon? Like, all these conspiracy theories, what if they are actually true? I'm not saying they're all true. I'm just saying that there are some conspiracy theories out there that are, you know, more easier to believe, yes, and they might not have the most evidence, of course, but at the end of the day, those conspiracy theories sometimes make more sense than the actual narrative that the media puts out there. For instance, I'm thinking of the John F. Kennedy conspiracy theory, like, the main narrative, most people don't even believe what the government has said about that. Most people don't believe it was only one man that pulled the trigger. No, no, no. People actually think there were multiple gunmen because the, the, hard, the, the shot was so hard to even pull off in the first place. A nearly impossible shot for one single man. And that conspiracy theory is basically almost like a, a fact for most people that there were more than one shooters. And, you know, another main conspiracy theory that I think we all believe a little bit is the, the UFOs and their connection to aliens. Every time there's a UFO sighting, it's like imp impossible to figure out whether it's domestic, international, or alien, or interdimensional, who knows? It's such a strange world, but yet we still have these strange, paranormal, supernatural activity going on every day and all the time to so many of us. There's so many people coming forward telling their story that's so hard to tell. Like, who wants to come forward and say they saw three foot tall gray aliens with giant goggle eyes? Like, who would want to make up that? Like, who would think of that? And who would think it was so convincing to people that they could pull it off as a lie like it doesn't make sense to me and this is why I have to research and okay so this is the backstory of why I'm doing this right I'll give you uh, some information about myself and why I'm actually you know going for force and actually studying this seriously scientifically Religiously. Right now, I'm a up and coming senior in college right now, and I'm having a major in journalism. With that, I I can you know study this topic with more serious understanding and credentials that I can use in the field in the world real world, so I can actually prove the skeptics wrong. Because I, myself, am a, I'm, I'm a skeptic. And most of the things in this world, I'm a skeptic too. Now, as a person that's a skeptic, it's going to be hard convincing me that something so unbelievable, something that I would only read in a fairy tale, actually exists. Let's start off when I was seven years old on YouTube. As a seven year old on YouTube, YouTube was so unrestricted over a decade ago, 15 years ago, that you could basically look up anything you wanted. Back in the old YouTube, you could look up scary ghost videos, you could look up scary alien videos, you 
can look up classified leaked content that you'd never know what's real or fake unless someone came out and said, oh, I work for the government and I've actually worked on this video and I released it. You'd never know unless a government agent came out and revealed it to you or the government themselves came out and revealed it to you. So I'm a seven year old on YouTube watching these paranormal videos of aliens in Area 51. And these aliens, they're gray aliens, gray, whitish skin. They're, this particular alien was maybe five feet tall. You know, taller than normal for a gray alien with black eyes, very skinny, pale, um, you know, almost waxy skin. And I'm watching this video of a surveillance video in Area 51, allegedly, of these, this gray alien. And it's so realistic to my seven-year-old mind. Like, I'm seven years old. I don't know what's real and what's fake. Or I don't know, like, how CGI works to that degree as a seven-year-old or practical effects for that matter. So I'm seven years old and I'm watching this. So I'm thinking it's so real. I'm like, wow, it's so crazy that they're able to leak this video of an alien in Area 51. And I'm so dumb, dumbfounded, if that's the right word to use, that aliens actually exist and we have the evidence online on YouTube. And it's so crazy because even though I was seven years old and I'm watching this video, I'm like, the only way this could be fake is this is a Hollywood movie I've never seen. They spent over a year creating this costume or CGI render of an alien with these, you know, this alien is looking around the room. It's, uh, you know, from what I can remember, it's like kind of hunched over. It's looking... It did look at the camera in the corner. It was curious about what the camera was. Because it's a completely empty room with nothing else besides this alien and the surveillance camera in the corner. And it's just so crazy that... It's just so crazy that this video even existed in the first place. Because who could imagine an alien just being in Area 51 trapped like this? And then who could it like bring it to fruition by making a CGI or a costume of an alien like this? And I, if I if I were to guess that how much this costume would cost, this costume would cost an easy fifteen thousand, an easy fifteen thousand dollars if it's a costume someone wore, or if it's CGI, it might have cost fifteen thousand dollars to create, because it was so good, it was so real life, it was so realistic the way the alien was moving with its long lanky arms in the video, and how it was moving like it was not of this world and to me as a seven year old I believed it was a real video you know and then I had my older siblings you know try to scare me into believing it's real and that uh, the alien will come and get us or whatever but that's that's besides the point and what I'm trying to say is as a seven year old I was into this paranormal topic for a while and I always thought it was real as a young person, but you know, as we all grow up and we go to school, we hear our classmates talk about how aliens are fake or they can never be real. Uh, and the planets with that can hold life, so, you know, thousands of light years away. That's just crazy to think about. And you can never really imagine it, so you just go with the science, what the scientists are saying. And if the scientists are saying that, hey, you know, aliens are nearly impossible to have on Earth, you just gotta believe them, because they're scientists, right? NASA's telling us that they've never confirmed the presence of alien life on the planet. It's so crazy to me, because there are so many, you know, encounters by eyewitnesses, and well, YouTube videos you can find where there's, there's evidence, well, alleged evidence of these cryptids and paranormal activity happening every day. Especially during the time of YouTube when I was seven and you can, you can look up any paranormal video. You can look up an alien video 
of you can find like hundreds of like these great alien videos on YouTube, and it's so hard to find now because so many clickbait videos in 2022. But in 2007, 2008, you can find these videos of these aliens or these chupacabras of these uh, chimera animals right on YouTube, unrestricted. You don't even have to make an account to sign in to see these videos. And it's just so crazy that I was able to see these videos and I can remember these videos clear as day to today. And yes, as a seven year old, I, I believe the video. But no, when I turned 10 or 13 years old, I kind of thought, uh, well, maybe that video is fake. Because you know how unrealistic it is. You can't always believe everything you hear online. You can't always believe everything you read online either. So it's so crazy to me that now as a 21 year old, I actually do believe that the videos I saw on YouTube were actually real. That some of the videos, not all of them, only some of the videos were real. And that I actually saw these cryptids by a leaked video that you can't even find today on YouTube on the internet. Maybe if you go to the dark web or the deep web, but I haven't even explored then what I could find on YouTube in 2007. But yes, I do believe that alien I saw Area 51 was real because how would you fake that video unless you were making a Hollywood movie? A Hollywood movie, a $15,000 independent film, a $15,000 at least costume you made from scratch with multiple people working on it. And if it was a costume, how skinny would that person have to be to fit in that costume? That alien couldn't weigh more than 100 pounds. Easy. And there's no way that you could get a, a person that skinny with a big head, with the, the eyes blinking. The eyes were blinking, and there were black, big goggle eyes, and it was blinking. Yes, this was a video, but still, a video can tell you so much, even if it is a CGI video, even if it is a, a costume video. I'm saying this all to say that, yes, I'm a skeptic when it comes to this stuff because I haven't had it proven to myself yet. Because I need scientific evidence with scientific understanding and scientific method analyzing the hypothesis. This is my hypothesis, that there is some type of paranormal cryptic activity happening in the real world. Um, yes, you need the scientific method to completely understand what's going on with this phenomenon and I think this topic is so understudied and under researched because so many people don't believe in it because the media wants us to think it's fake the media wants us to laugh at this kind of thing the mainstream media I'm talking about CNN I'm talking about uh, cable news Fox News that's cable news MSNBC, they all have a bias. They all have a director that tells them not to talk about the real things happening in the real world, that real people are, are kind of have to find out themselves. Because I'm here studying this topic in Michigan pretty much on my own right now. I've, I've reached out to people out of the state and people online on Facebook and it's just only so much they can do and so much they can reveal to me that I'm on this mission, not by myself, I'm not gonna say that, but I'm on this field investigation. Uh, you know, I'm basically blind in the dark because it's so much area to cover in the state, it's so much area to cover on this planet where mysterious cryptids or paranormal activity could be that I have to, you know, take baby steps and work out of my my A to B car. But yeah, this is my first video on, on this documentary series. This is not the best video where I'm talking as best as I can because, you know, I'm off of maybe six hours of sleep, seven hours of sleep, up very early in the morning trying to make my first video 20-25 minutes try to get a good video out 
uh, maybe put an intro in this video. I don't know. I, I'm gonna need you guys' feedback. Cause this is a video I'm starting from scratch. This is a, a channel I'm starting from, from scratch. It's my first YouTube video. Um, this is probably gonna be the first part to my, my documentary series. And I will find as much evidence as I can. And whatever evidence I find will be on my TikTok, will, will be on my Instagram page for sure. It will be on the the, the questioningcenter.com website. Yes, the, the questioningcenter.com website will have everything that I'm covering on my YouTube channel in text format, basically. I'm gonna be writing the articles, writing the news, the eyewitness encounters, the eyewitness interviews, all on my, 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 uh, my website. And all the video evidence will be on TikTok and Instagram anytime you need it. And this YouTube channel, yes, I know it's not going to be a lot of people at first. Might not be even a hundred or a thousand people the first year. But we're going to build up and we're going to, you know, dish out content that makes sense that people are interested in. And yeah, I'm going to be in Michigan mostly for my research because Michigan is a huge state. Like. As a seven-year-old, I'm gonna take it back to when I'm a, when I'm a child. As a seven-year-old growing up in Detroit, like I never knew how big Detroit was itself. Detroit as a city is always, already a big city, but when you're talking about Michigan as a state, like I couldn't even imagine how big Michigan was as a seven-year-old. But now I'm just now understanding how big of a country, how big of a state this is. Because I'm, I'm driving out on my own, driving off to college a couple hours back and forth and driving around the state. And this is a big world to discover. You know, despite all the man-made creations and, and the roads and buildings, there's still a lot of country road and backwoods to be discovered. And, and no, I'm not gonna be out in the middle of a undiscovered forest I'm gonna be in locations you can easily find on Google Maps that's what I'm gonna be doing I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be missing 411 I'm not gonna be that I'm gonna be safe like I said in the beginning safety is the number one concern here safety because if we're not safe how are we gonna get the real evidence how are we gonna keep the evidence safe so that we can prove it to the world that this is a real thing that this is an actual phenomenon that people are seeing in real life. But yeah, guys, anyways, that's the first video. Hopefully I sound clear enough. Um, I'm gonna go back over and, uh, you know, I'm gonna watch the video myself, even though I don't like hearing my voice. That's why it was so hard to make this YouTube channel because I don't like hearing my own voice talk sometimes. But hopefully you guys don't mind my voice too much. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna review this video and see how, how great I like it. Maybe do another take or uh, put disclaimers in this video. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll be back with some more content. And thank you for tuning in to the Questioning Center.